welcome back to my channel long time no see well i hope you guys are doing great as usual and uh, i have been very busy for the past few days so i just cannot find the time to film any video so since today is a sunday and uh, i am quite free i've decided to do a video on how i store my bags so i know that all of you ladies or guys out there who loves shopping and buys a lot of bags will have the same problem as me which is how do I store all those bags of course my hubby told me the only way to address the problem is to reduce the number of buying bags which is so impossible so what I did was before I actually shifted into my house I actually told the interior designer to make um, built-in closets or wardrobes that actually has shelves on them so that I could actually keep all my bags in there and apart from that um, I realized that after moving in I realized that those shelves are really not sufficient so what I did was I decided to divide them or divide my bags into two categories one category are the uh, luxury items which are the ones from Louis Vuitton, Chanel and the other category will be the ones that are the more affordable ones or the less expensive ones so those I would call them the like maybe the Longchamp, Marc and Jacobs I also have other brands that I also purchase that are least expensive and I would put them in those categories so enough said let me just quickly show you how the wardrobe looks like and of course to show you how I store my luxury items so stay tuned so what you are looking at right now is actually the built-in wardrobe that I actually asked my interior designer to build. It comes with a mirrored door and uh, because I love those, you know, high, tall mirrors, so that's where, you know, I told them that I want doors that has uh, mirrors like this. So on the right side, yeah, you can see me right now. So on this side uh, is where I store all my luxury bags and of course on the left side are all my clothing. So maybe for those of you who wants to take a peep of all my clothing, yes, um, those are all the clothings over there. And above are where I store all the uh, my gadget boxes and uh, my board games and some stuff like that. Yeah, so this part of the wardrobe, that's where I store the clothing and also, you know, those things up there so maybe let me just close the wardrobe and open the right door that will reveal Ta-da! all right so as you guys can see those are the shelves that i was referring to you so in total there are like two four six eight cubicles that you know i can keep my luxury items and I know that you know we cannot like as much as possible stack them on top of one another but because I have you know too many bags so some of them I have no choice but to stack them on top of each other so let me just share with you how I um, actually store my bags so each cube will um, will consist at least um, three bags and uh, I will try to put the same brands in the same cube. So like for example, this cube here contains the Celine and also my Miu Miu and my Fendi. So um, it's about three or four bags inside there because um, they're pretty much quite slim. So I could put them in that cube. And over here, it consists my Fola bags. And inside those two are my belly, my bags from uh, belly so uh that's uh three bags in here so they're still quite okay meaning that i don't need to stack them on top of each other all right and uh, this cube consists of my chanel uh, my gst here and my uh, flap uh, double flap bag inside and over here there's my uh, burberry bag all right so there's three bags over here and uh, this cube contains all the products so there are about three bags here and uh, yeah these two cubes uh, consist of my Louis Vuitton so uh, each cube has three bags each and uh, at the bottom is uh, my Gucci so there are three Gucci's over here and also this is uh, my Louis V bag 
and uh, there are three more bags at the back and uh, I'm able to you know stack them because um, they are not very big and they are basically shapeless bags so it's still okay for me to uh, stack them on top of each other so that is basically how I store my luxury bags and uh, let me just show you again one more time so this is the concept that I asked my designer to do and I'm very pleased with this concept and um, yeah so this is it and of course above um yes at the top you can see there's many small like pouches you know that i get free from buying cosmetics and some small leather good over there like my louis vuitton wallet some michael kors box and a uh, gas box and yeah things like that so at the bottom there are also these two small drawers which um let me quickly open them and show it to you guys so it consists of um, some, you know, uh, my uh, bando, some handkerchief and uh, my hats that I like to use on days where I got bad hair days, some um, scarves which I bought. So this is what I usually store over here. And um, the other drawer will consist of, um, yeah, my belts. So I have, you know, some, you know, um, chemicals that I use to wipe my bag and uh, this I tell you is very useful and uh, this is you know a box that contains my bag charm so now I am going to show you quickly where I store the bags that are less um, expensive or less luxurious so let me just quickly turn the camera to the other part of the room and over there as you can see there are two pink boxes and a bigger one at the bottom and a smaller one at the top and these are all the bags that I use um, on a daily basis sometimes and they are less expensive right now I am actually seated in front of the two boxes and I've opened them up so that you can see the content of the boxes so I actually sorted the boxes so that you know the bigger boxes will contain the bags that I use the least and this box over here, the smaller box, will contain the ones that I use the most. But eventually, after taking them in and out, I just got lazy. And, uh, you know, in the end of the day, they were all just so mixed up. So um, let me just show you um, the bigger box first. So over here, it contains, as I mentioned to you earlier, bags that I tend to use less often. So um, bags like this, they are just fabric bags um, bag that I got, you know, when I bought magazines. They just give me for free. This is my Agnes B bag and uh, some freebies that I got um, by, you know, when I when I joined some contest or something. And uh, that is my uh, my Harrods bag that I bought when I was in London. And um, I got some uh, Adidas bag, Marc Jacobs bag. And inside, I do have some more Adidas bag. And uh, inside, there is also another DKNY bag. So just in this big box box itself i have stored maybe one two maybe three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah i've stored about ten bags in this container itself and as for the small box um let me see what bags i have i have this um, bag from ladurie that i got in uh, paris this is some um, travel bag that i have uh, that I will bring each time when I want to go traveling because it helps me to compartmentalize all my items. And uh, this is a, uh, a bag that I got for free when I bought, you know, cosmetics from this brand, Shu Yumoera. And I have, you know, more Longchamp bags over here. And uh, what's here? Oh, okay, this is a bag that I got from uh, Marc Jacobs and... Uh, I have yet to use it after purchasing it for like you know four months now okay uh, more long sham and um, I have uh, yeah I have you know this kind of cloth like bags like from you know Spongebob this is so cute and this is also another um, yeah cloth bag which is also very cute and this is some Gucci accessories, I guess, and more long sham, and uh, more Marc Jacobs, and also more long sham. So in total, in this small box, I actually have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
batch of 13. I got 13 items in this small box over here. So in total, I have a total of 23 bags that I actually keep them nicely in these two big boxes over here. So guys, as a whole, um, I mean, I have so many, many bags. I mean, those, the luxury ones and also the more affordable ones. And uh, I tell you, until now, storing these bags can get to be a headache for me because um, as I told you, space is always running out. And if I were to purchase more bags, that's where, you know, the headache starts to come in. Right now, I am always um, trying to shop wisely and uh, not buy on impulsiveness because if I keep on continue buying so many bags, I will definitely have the issue of, you know, storage. So as of right now, um, the shelf behind me is still adequate enough and it's still able to, you know, to receive maybe about two, three more bags, but anything more than that, I mean, I am going to face that issue again. And similarly, for those two boxes, right now, I only have two boxes, and if I were to purchase more bags, I may need to upgrade to maybe three or even four boxes, so yeah. So I hope you guys um, do learn some tips and tricks from me on how to store the bag, and if you guys have any question, feel free to leave me a message, alright? So please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. So see you again. Bye!